Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. Please, if you have not yet subscribed, remember to subscribe, set the notification bell. And um, if you have subscribed already, thank you, thank you once more. Thank you so, so, so much. All right, so we are looking at integration here. We need to integrate A and B right here. So before we integrate, let's understand some few things. So if you have, uh, if you have let's say you have uh, something like this, and they want you to integrate this, they have given you x power n there, okay? And then they say dx. What are you supposed to do on this one? Here, you just uh, check the power that you have. In this case, we have n here. So we copy what we have, okay, inside here. And then to the power, which is here, always add a 1. When integrating, you always add a 1. And then you divide by your new power. So this is our new power. Divide it right there. Then you say plus a C. Okay. This C is simply the constant. Okay. So now, looking at the questions that we have, we have a number here and a number here. So let's assume we've got, uh, we've got A here and a B right there. Okay. So these are numbers. Okay. We have B here and, a, and, and A. So what are we going to do? Meaning we forget about it, the C. And we are going to say what we found here, okay? And then we put A here, B right here, okay? Thereafter, we're going, we, we shall substitute. We're going to say B be substituted where X is because we are respecting X. So it will be B power N plus 1 over N plus a 1 minus a power n plus a 1 over n plus a 1. So I guess you can see that uh, we have this, and this is our solution, so to say, for this one. So now using the idea which is right here, we're going to say, let's start with a, we're going to say equal to, remember what we did there, we get x power a 2. Okay, so what did we do next? We added a 1. So we add a 1 and divide by this same power. You see, this is what we did. And also we applied this 0 there and a 2. You see, A and B there. Okay, so the next thing here will be to simplify. So we shall have x, uh, 2, plus, uh, 2 plus 1, it's a 3 over a 3. And don't forget this. This is what we have. We are supposed to add here this plus this and this plus this. Okay. And this is what we, we have done. The next thing will be to substitute this step where we substituted. So this 2 will be where x is there. So it will be 2 power 3 over 3 like we did here. This b came here and this is how it looked like. b power this n plus 1 over n plus 1. The same. So 2 power 3 over a 3. And then we say minus, like we did here. Minus 0 power 3 over 3. Okay. So from here, we work out we have 8 over 3, of which this will just give us a 0. So here, we shall say 3 into, into 8. We will automatically get a 2 remainder 2 over 3 and this is our solution for question 1 okay so now let's try question uh, question b i mean for question a is the solution is here we try question b using the same steps so for question b for question b here using the same ideas that we have we're going to say uh integral so this is for B. Integral there, limits from 1 to 2, x squared over 4 plus a 1, and dx there. So the same idea, get this, add a 1, and divide. You see, there's a 4 here. So put that 4 there and multiply it by the new power. You see, I've put the brackets because I want to come and multiply this 4 by the new power that I have. So all this thing, it has come down here. And then we say plus. Where there is a constant, just put the letter that you are respecting. 
So we put x. If there was two here, we should have two x. If there was four, we would have we would have we would have we would have gotten four x here. Okay. So now instead of putting a straight line here, we are just going to do the brackets like this. Okay, and put a one here and a two here. These limits, like we did here, this. Okay, so just put them right here. Uh, you work out inside there, we shall have x power power 3 over a 12, because this is 3, 3 times uh, 4, it's 12, plus x there. And then you put the limits. 1 is here and a 2 is right there. Okay, I guess you're following what is happening. We now substitute. We shall have a 2 power 3 over 12 there, plus a 2. Okay, we close. We just substitute this here and here. This is what we have. And then we say minus. We shall have a 1 power 3 over 12 plus, uh, uh, plus a 1. Plus a 1 there. Okay. So now from this stage, when we work out things nicely, when you work out things nicely, you simplify. You're going to get 19 over, over, 19 over 12. If I'm not mistaken, 19 over 12. That will be our solution. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe. This has been Isichamba Jacob. Bye-bye.